Hello friends, today I will tell you about a small but very unpleasant problem. After the beginning of autumn it may appear on many cars. I encountered it on a Volkswagen multivan. And now it has appeared in my new Peugeot Traveler car. If you are interested, I have a great video review of this car. The link is in the description of the video. And so, the problem is that in the fall the leaves fall from the trees, it may happen that a dry leaf gets into your car's ventilation system. In this case, unpleasant sounds may appear in the stove. Vibration, low frequency noise or whistling. This is a common problem. Someone sends a service and pays a lot of money for a problem that can be easily solved on their own. You just need to pull the leaf out of the stove fan. Some people try to do this from inside the salon. But I don't recommend doing this. It is very difficult. It's better to do everything outside the car. The problem is actually very small. The dry leaf lies on the fan blades and cannot fall out. We need to get it. The fan rotates at high speed, which often leads to loud noise and even vibration. Today I will show you how to quickly and easily solve this problem. To do this, we will need the following tools, a large, strong screwdriver and another smaller one. Powerful angle grinder and cutting wheel for cutting steel. Screwdriver, wrenches and a set of drills of different diameters for metal. Okay, it was a joke. In fact, we don't need anything. We can fix everything simply with our hands. Now I'll show you how to do it. You need to open the hood. Our fan impeller is located under the scuttle panel. In order to get the leaf you need to remove this scuttle panel. Watch me do it in Peugeot Traveler. First of all, I take off this detail. It's low tide or I don't know what it's called. I pull it up and slowly take it off. It is held on by two latches. It's not plastic. The material is like hard rubber. Pull boldly but gently, you won't break it. Next, you need to unscrew this screw that secures the scuttle panel. It turns out we still need one tool. This is a 10 mm nut head. I'm sure every driver has such a tool. Now we need to carefully unfasten the scuttle panel. We naturally want to pull out the left side first, but we won't be able to do that. Let's start with the right half. The problem is that the scuttle panel has a drain on the left side. It bends under the metal. The panel is inserted there from right to left. Therefore, we first free the right side. Scuttle panel consists of two parts. The left half is inserted under the right. I bend the right one and release the left half. Now I move this whole part to the right and carefully pull it out from here. Scuttle panel hung by an elastic band. This is how I remove this rubber seal. Here is our protective casing. We put it aside. Now if we look deeper there, we will see the impeller of our fan. This part is shaped like a saucepan with slits on the sides. When we turn on the ventilation in the car, this thing starts spinning very quickly. If a leaf gets there, it creates a strong resonance. The same noise and vibration appears. Obviously there needs to be a safety net here. It's a pity that the manufacturer doesn't install it. A mesh would help keep debris out of the fan. Now I just have to stick my hand in there and grab the leaf with my fingers. Very often the leaf is dry. Try to take it carefully without crushing it. Here he is, the culprit of our noise. 
Such a small thing, but it causes a lot of acoustic problems there. Now we just throw it away and put everything back together. Now the scratches on the eraser drain are very visible. It sticks out strongly to the side under the metal of the body. It is because of this that it is impossible to pull out the scuffle panel on the left. You have to release the right side and then pull it out from left to right. We press on the plastic and all the locks fasten themselves. Then I tighten the screw. There is no need to press hard. There are plastic parts everywhere. Screw tightly, but not too tightly. And the last thing to do is put this part back on top. Okay, it's all over now. It took us literally 10 minutes. And at the service station, they will ask you for $100 for the work, or maybe more. We close the hood and check the result of our work. I turn the ignition key. You don't have to start the car. I activate the stove fan. We hear a normal flow of air. There is no vibration or low frequency noise. Well done to you. Like it. Bye everyone.